Hey guys, and welcome back to another Puffish Skills mod tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the advanced integrations that are possible with the Puffish Skills mod, such as In Control, FX Control, and Game Stages. So this is going to be a Forge tutorial, so if you're on Fabric, then I'll probably be making one for you in the future, once I figure it out the right mods to use. So if you haven't seen my first Puffish Skills tutorial, where we make our own skill tree and skills, then you should go ahead and check it out. Uh, we explain the basics there. So in this video, I'll be assuming you already know the file structures and how to use the command rewards. First off, we'll be going to our configs by going to options, uh, resource packs, open pack folder, pop the screen up. Uh, we can go back one into configs and we'll be finding the FX controls folder and we'll be opening up break events.json. And what we're basically going to be doing is make it so that whenever we try to use an iron pickaxe to break a block, it will be denied unless we are assigned the correct game stage. And if you'd like to see the full documentation of the in control mods, I'll have this link in the description below. Um, it shows basically everything you can do. There's some examples uh, as well as the possibilities of entries. If you're unfamiliar with Game Stages mod, that's fine. You'll understand how it all works by the end of this video, hopefully. Uh, game Stages are basically tags set to let Minecraft know if a player is able to do something or not, and it serves as a sort of catalyst to permit entry, per se. So first, we'll be looking at player-held item. Um, for this example, we're going to be barring iron pickaxes from being used to break blocks, basically. And to do this, we'll be adding a Game Stage called iron tools to this entry right here and i'll have all these files in the description uh, below for you so next we'll be setting a message to pop up on our screen when we try and break a block saying that we can't use this item this will be using a function file that we'll get to later in the video and we're going to be setting this result to deny this will prevent uh, use of this iron pickaxe when we have the game stage iron tools added to our character and I've gone ahead and done this to Iron Shovel and Iron Axe as well. So we'll save that. Next, we're going to be going to our Puffish Skills Categories file in our configs. We're going to be going to Reach. This is the file that we've made in the last video. I'll have that link down in the description and as well as all the files here. We're going to be going into the definitions.json. Like we did last time we're going to be adding a command section for this one we're going to be adding it to the normal reach last time we added command to say congratulations on your first level in our root reach section this time we'll be adding the command to our normal reach section and this we're going to be changing to set to function first load colon iron underscore tools we we'll to be saving that and as you can probably guess we'll be using a data pack now if you're unfamiliar with data packs that's totally okay uh, just pay attention and follow along and you won't have any issues now what I recommend is the Paxi mod which allows you to add data packs automatically to any new world instead of having to manually add a data pack to every world you start up this is useful for mod pack creation um, it's okay if you aren't familiar with Paxi, just follow along and I'll show you how it all works. I'll have all these mod links in the description as well. And you want to go into your configs file and find the Paxi folder right here. It should generate. And then you want to go into data packs. If you don't have the data pack folder, um, just make one, right? Call it data packs. But we'll be going into here and We'll be opening this file, which I will have for download, and we'll be going into first load functions, and we'll be going into this new world join MC function file. We'll be opening that up. So in the new world join file, I've set it up so that this file will run commands once for every person who does not have the joined tag on them already. Meaning if they haven't joined the world yet, they will be considered a new player, but as soon as they join, they'll have the joined tag added to them. We're going to be adding our new game stage to every new player as soon as they join by putting execute as entity tag exclamation mark joined. This will exclude everyone who has the joined tag on them. Uh, run game stage add at self 
iron tools. And you'll be doing this for every game stage uh, that you add to lock certain sections of items. And you can edit this part right here if you want to change it to anything, but this is the basic structure, what you'll be using. So we'll close that. And then we'll be going into this iron tools MC function file. And this is where, this is the function that we set up right here to run. When we unlock the skill, it'll run this function, which says game stage remove at self iron tools, which will remove this game stage tag from the player, allowing us to use the iron tools basically. And this right here will show up as a tell raw to say you've unlocked iron tools basically. And we wouldn't be able to do this in here. Usually you would be able to run multiple commands from just one reward section in a point. You could run this, you could run multiple commands, you know, say hi, but this tell raw is unable to do it because it's a complicated command. So we'll be using a function file instead. And I'll also have the website that I've used to generate this tell raw as well for you guys in the description. And I'd like to take this opportunity to show you the skill locked MC function that we have right here. And this is the command from earlier that said function first load skills locked. And this will display constantly in your action bar. You struggle to wield this item. So this will pop up if you are even holding one of these since it's in your hand. Letting the player know uh, you're unable to wield this item yet. So now that we have our functions ready, we'll go back into Minecraft and we'll start up a new world. Uh, and I'll skip ahead while it's loading up. Okay. So if we've done everything right, we should be unable to use iron tools off the get-go. And if we try to break any block, you struggle to wield this item. So we are unable to use this. Yeah, so it's working. We'll go into here. And once we unlock one of these points that we've set, uh, yep, you just unlocked iron tools. So now we should be able to break blocks. Now this application can be used with a variety of other things such as blocks by using uh, this place events uh, dot json file folder this i've set it up so that dirt is denied but if you want to restrict things such as armor then we'll have to get a little bit more creative i'll be showing you an example of how to prevent armor use this is actually really simple uh, we'll be making it so that whenever you wear restricted armor you'll be gaining the slowness effect we'll be going into our effects.json um, this i've set it up so that if you are holding an iron sword for example with the game stage iron sword you'll gain weakness and it'll say the function first load skill locked message in your hotbar as well as the iron equipment i've set it so that if it's in your helmet slot if you're wearing an iron helmet and you have the iron armor game stage you'll gain slowness i've done that for chest plate entry you have leggings entry you have boots entry i've done that for every single one so now what we need to do to apply this into game, we have to go back into our new world join function. We'll copy this, paste it below as a reference, and we'll be changing this to iron underscore armor, since that's what is in here, right here. So this will add the iron armor uh, game stage to new players. And this you can change to whatever effect you want. Go in here effect give at self and then all the effects are right here this works with modded effects as well you can get pretty creative with this and then going back into the functions file in our first load folder we'll be copying this iron tools mc function and we'll name it iron armor for example and going into here we'll be changing this to armor so this will be our iron armor function, basically. And this text will change to iron armor. And if, for example, we'd like to change this in our puffish definitions.json, uh, we could 
change this to iron armor. So to simulate a new world, we'll be adding do game stage. Since we added it to our load function, uh, this should happen automatically upon world load. But for now, we'll just add it manually. Iron armor. So as you can see, I'm wearing an iron helmet. And as soon as I put it on, it'll give me 255 level slowness and I won't be able to move. And since I've gone ahead and added the function command to the rest of these, I didn't have it before, it is now showing you struggle to wield this item right here. We go back into our reach section, I've reset it, and we unlock this. You have just unlocked iron armor. Great, so now we can wield iron armor, basically. Now for things such as an iron hoe, I have made it so that in the rightclicks.json file, it is in the player held item, Minecraft hoe, uh, game stage iron tools. I've made it so that when you right click an iron hoe, it will deny use until you've unlocked the game stage. Now I haven't really figured out a way to prevent bow usage as it still lets you fire arrows even when you add it to the right click events page. But if anyone has any suggestions about this, please let us all know in the comment section below. I am open to ideas and solutions and workarounds. That being said, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe if you found this video useful at all. I'm really looking forward to seeing the new possibilities that this can stem into and I hope everybody has a great day. I'll see you in the next one.